Just about a couple hours ago, my childhood dog was put down and passed away. Um, and I thought it would be interesting to talk about her and the memories I have with her. Uh, but of course, I feel obligated to uh, show a picture of her, of course. So this is her uh, as of a couple hours ago. Um, just not a couple hours, but like a few hours ago, maybe around three o'clock today. Here she is happy, you know, as can be. My mother took this picture for me. Um, she also took um, this picture of me in my work outfit and with the dog. Um, we got her when I was about seven years old. Why do I keep doing that? Come back here. Go back here. We got her when I was about seven years old. Um, and I thought it would be really interesting to talk about it. I'm repeating myself because I'm thinking about my dead dog. <laughs> Um, so her name is Maggie, um, well, was Maggie, and she lived to be about 15 years old. Maybe 16, I know she was, she might be around 15 to 16 years old, somewhere in that time frame, possibly 14, but, I, no, it can't be 14, because she was, we am pretty sure we got her in 2007, or 2008, one of the two, so she could be 14. Um, but she was a really good dog, uh, extremely fast, like maybe the fastest dog that I've ever seen. She could run like crazy. I remember being a kid and um, racing her in the yard, and she would always outrun me. You know, we just fucking take off, you know. Um, usually what happens is, is, like, someone would throw a ball, and then I would run, and then she would run. We'd both go for that ball, you know, and she'd beat me to it every time. Um, but I guess as I got older, uh, and she got older, much older, much older than I did, um, she got a little slower, and I could eventually start to beat her. I can remember being at my mom's house and, like, with, you know, just running, you know, when I was, you know, maybe 12 or 13, you know, probably 13, I think is, no, I would have been 12 and 13, um, you know, and she'd maybe not run quite as fast as me, you know, um, but she was still, still super fast, and then eventually I got fat and gross, I mean, look at me now, um, I became an adult, and she just kept getting older, um, she was always a super nice dog, I mean, she would bark, you know, she'd bark when cars would drive by, you know, whatever, sometimes she would bark when she wasn't getting enough attention, uh, but super nice dog, super kind to every human she ever met, was never mean to anybody, very friendly. Um, yeah, I mean, she'd bark at the car, but the moment someone got out of the car, she'd walk right up to them, super excited, happy to see them, you know, and that was very normal for her. I have plenty of memories with her, actually. I remember particularly, uh, she would, she was so strong, we had, we had her in a kennel outside for a while when I lived in my old house when I was a kid. Um, which I would never do with my own dog. No offense to my mother or father. Like, I wouldn't leave my dog outside in, like, the winter. Which I don't think we did. I think if it got, like, really cold, we'd bring them in. Uh, we would either put them in the garage, which had a heater and had a furnace. Or we would just bring them in the house. Like, at my mom's house, we would let them in the garage. And eventually, my mom let them into the basement where they could hang out with us. Um, but no, I can remember, like, uh, in the middle of summer, she would, like, jump over her cage. Which is, like... 8 to 10 foot tall, I think it's 8 foot tall, I want to say, and she would jump over that and, like, almost choke herself on her collar and her leash, uh, because she was just so hyper and energetic, uh, and, and she would do anything to get attention, I guess, and she did this multiple times, uh, but once my mom moved out to the country, um, she would just let the dog go wherever the dog wanted to go, you know, the dog wanted to hang out outside, you know, the dog gets to hang out outside, if the dog wanted to go into the garage, well, the other garage, uh, she would let it happen, because, you know, whatever. She was still at a doghouse, and she would kind of hang out in there sometimes. But I can remember the cats being in there more than that she was, which was always a weird experience. Um, but yeah, that's Maggie. Uh, she's pretty old here. You can see the uh, the white on her all over her body. I don't have any pictures of her from when she was a pup, uh, but she was much, much, much darker. And um, I can remember walking home, uh, I think Friday night, or either sat that or Saturday night. I can't remember. It was Friday night after going to the bank. Or well, actually walking my brother's house, um, and passing a really young golden retriever. You know, I was hanging out by someone's back door in, in their yard, and I was like, "Man, remember when my dog used to look like that? It used to be hyper and full of energy." You know, um, I'm not usually a dog person. I, I'm really still not. I could go my whole life without ever owning a dog and be perfectly fucking happy and content. I'm happy with cats. I'm a cat guy. Like without a doubt, I love me some good little kitties. They're great. Uh, however, there's nothing really quite like a childhood dog. Nothing like it. 
you know, when I would go out hiking in the woods where my mom lived, um, she would follow us. You know, she'd go everywhere with you. Take a walk, she'd go with you. Granted, I had cats that did, would do that too, but um, she, this dog would go sit down by the creek with us and just chill out. She'd get in the creek and then chill out, like literally chill out because it's water. Anyway, <laughs> um, but no, she was a good dog. If you, you could throw a stick, throw a ball, she'd chase it and bring it back to you. She wouldn't always give it to you, but she'd bring it back, you know, and ex- expect pets, of course. Um, but no, she's kind of been like a staple of my life since like second or first grade, you know, and it feels, it'd be second grade, sorry. Uh, and it feels really weird to, uh, to see that she's gone, you know, and knowing that she's not there anymore and that every time I go to my mom's house, there's not going to be a dog there anymore. This is the last dog that my mom's going to buy. As for now, that's what she's told me multiple times, what she's told the family, um, that she's not going to buy another dog, which to me, I'm like, why the fuck not? Get a dog. Cats are cool, but I mean, you guys, you know, it's kind of part of the house there. You know, the kids, my mom runs a daycare. Um, the kids love the dog, you know, it's great. Uh, I have a video on my YouTube, actually. Here, let's pull that up. Um, there we go, YouTube, look at that. Uh, oh, hey, look, it's it's my channel. Who, 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 whoa, 247, guys, hell yeah. Nice, thank you. That's sweet. That was at 245 earlier this week. I gained two. Uh, but no, if I go back far enough here, we'll eventually see a video I uploaded of her. Where's that? Where's it? There it is right there. Let me change uh, this one. Boop. Sorry about that. Let me go ahead and put this on. But yeah, this is a little short video. that If you watch my... Um, if you watch my 10 year anniversary live stream, uh, we watched this video and it was one of the ones that we voted to be public because of course it is. It's got, you know, it's got animals in it, <laughs> particularly my dog. dog. Is cuddly. This dog is so cuddly. Hi, Maggie. She deserves full screen. <laughs> look at her. Come on. This is a love. Look at this. Oh, come on. No. Hi, girl. <laughs> Good dog. <laughs> Uh, let me get a better frame. Let me get a better frame here. Hold on. That's a little better. Even that, compared to this, such a massive difference in the color. I mean, I know it's a YouTube video and it can be a little difference, but like, this is from, I think, 2015? 2016. You know, this, this is six years ago compared to now it's crazy absolutely insane how much different she is <sighs> feels weird oh I was definitely not downloading ROMs don't look at that <laughs> anyway here's the dog again <laughs> me showing my ROMs on fucking uh, on video love that shit anyway um but yeah, that's the story of my dog. Uh, please share all of your pet stories in the comments below. I'm uh, I want to hear them. I want to hear good stories about pets. I'm not too sad over my dog. It's okay. You know, I've certainly I'm doing all right. Uh, however, it, it does it does feel weird to know that there's not a dog there anymore. Anyway, um, sorry for no politics today. I felt like the death of my dog mattered a little more. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.